Hey, welcome back to my channel, X Stitch and Chill, where I talk about mostly cross stitch and the chill things that I am doing while I cross stitch, which is usually like watching TV or movies. Um, sometimes I read, <laughs> not that often anymore. I like to cross stitch so that I don't snack on things while I'm watching TV. It gives my hands something to do. So that is one of my favorite things about cross stitching and I um, started this channel so that I could share it all with you. If you're a new viewer here, you are so welcome. And I hope you enjoy my ramblings about <laughs> cross stitching as well as the patterns I'm working on. I tend to work on um, more modern, nerdy, TV movie related stitches. So hopefully you love those kind of stitches too. And we can kind of share with each other. I love hearing from you guys as well. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I know it has been a while since I posted. It's been about a month, I think. Um, so I'm excited to be back. It's been a little crazy around here as I'm sure most people around the holidays things get a little wild. So I am excited to be here and update you guys. I have some exciting stuff going on. We're gonna talk about, I finished one. Uh, it's not fully finished, but I did finish. And I also have a couple, um, I don't have any new starts yet, but I do have um, some plans for what I will be starting. So first off, this may look a little different. I rearranged my office this morning. <laughs> so I moved a bunch of stuff out. I moved furniture around. I now have like a desk just dedicated to like stitching and art and everything uh, that I'm really excited about, but um, it's not quite done. And I tend to like move things around and then be like, mm, I'm not so sure this was what I wanted. Like in my brain, it was a really good idea, but in real life, it was not a good idea. <laughs> So I'm going to live with this setup for a few days and see if it's worth it um, because there's like a big shelf up here that needs to move. There's some shelves over there that need to move and um, we're going to paint. So the mint stripes are going away and it's probably going to be very dark in here. Um, we're kind of on a dark color kick right now. So yeah, I am excited for that whole thing. I'm really excited for a whole nother desk because I love, I'm not gonna have to like move all my work stuff out of the way to do stitchy and art things. So I'm really excited about that. So I know typically I jump into like stitchy things right away, but I have some stitchy life updates that I wanted to share. Um, so if you don't care about my life, you can just skip forward. Um, but I do have some stitchy things that I wanted to talk about um, that I've been doing over the last several weeks. So like I said, a lot of people I'm sure get really busy around the holidays. Uh, the weeks leading up to Christmas, I was at school functions. I was at Christmas parties. I was uh, buying Christmas gifts and wrapping Christmas gifts. I wrap all the gifts because I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm good at wrapping gifts. So <laughs> uh, I had to do all of that and it was just like madness because we were trying to get things shipped because we were going up to Breckenridge with my family. So we were leaving a few days before Christmas in order to get up there. Um, the day we left, it was like, I don't know, minus one was the high. <laughs> so it was, uh, it took me about it's normally about an hour and 45 minutes to get up there and it took me three hours to get there. So I doubled my time just because of snow and weather and I just, I probably could have waited, but I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. And it really wasn't that terrible. I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. <laughs> it was really fun up there. My parents have a house up in Breckenridge and it's pretty much like the place where time stands still. <laughs> like, you don't know what day it is. You don't know what time it is. You just kind of exist up there and eat junk food like calories don't count <laughs> up there and so spending time with my family my sister my brother my brother-in-law and um my family and my parents were all up there so we had a really a lot of fun i got to stitch with my mom over christmas which was fun because uh the last time i saw her was in october when we went out to florida to visit her and she was like, oh, maybe I'll start cross-stitching again. And we had kitted up a few projects for her and before I left. Um, and while I was gone, I was like, mom, you gotta get this markup RX thing. And she was like, okay. And 
she loved it. And then like two days later, she's like, I hate this. And she was having a hard time like matching up her grid. So like I was trying to fix it over the phone with her and everything and it just wasn't working out. So I was able to fix her markup and then I'm going to, she has a bunch of patterns she's purchased. So I'm going to um, help her get all of her grids set up before she leaves to go back to Florida um, so that she can uh, keep stitching. She's been stitching this one for um, as a gift and it's like all she's done since we got back on Brecken, from Breckenridge on like Monday and or Tuesday. And she's like almost done with it. So she's fast. She also finished one while we were up there. So I'm going to put in a picture of it because I don't physically have it. And I don't think it's ironed at the present moment. So hopefully when she can iron it and send me a picture. Um, but it's like this retro beach. I will find, she sent me the um, designer. So I'll find it and put it down below. It's really cute. I really like it. And it's, you know, she's probably going to hang it up in her house in Florida next to the beach. So while we were up there, I had taught my daughter how to cross stitch and she was just kind of like basically doing confetti on, on some scrap that I had. And she was having fun with that. You know, she did it for like a day or two. And then she was like, oh, I'm going to go find something else to do. She's not very good at committing. <laughs> Um, and then we ended up teaching my sister how to stitch and I taught her how to stitch an eight by eight square. And she was like, cool, I'm just going to do a whole bunch of eight by eight squares on this leftover Ada that I gave her. She left today to go on a cruise. So I think she went and got some colors and she was like, oh, I have like four eight by eight stitches done now. So we've sucked another one in <laughs> with us. I'm not sure how long she'll last though because she was stitching a line and she's like that took forever she's like how do you do these these would take forever i was like yeah it's but then you're done and it's beautiful and it's amazing so we'll see where she ends up right now she's just doing the squares so uh we'll we'll see when she actually gets a pattern what she decides to do and speaking of my sister i uh made some photos for them. I got the idea to do those photos where it's like an old time painting, oil painting, and your dog's head has been superimposed <laughs> onto the person. Um, and I came up with it like, I don't know, too late to order it from somebody else. So I ended up just making them myself. So their dogs are getting old. One is starting to show signs of dementia. The other is just having all these health problems. So I thought it might be a nice gift. So I'll put them up somewhere in here for you to see, but I was really proud of them. They turned out really cute and they really liked them. I think that the white dog, Snowball, turned out a little bit better than Hulk. Um, maybe because I had to try harder <laughs> to make the Hulk one look good. They really loved them and I think it's going to be a great gift for them to hang up in their house and so they can always remember the dogs they had when they first got married and everything. I don't really talk about my job on here all that much, but I, if you don't know, I am a freelance videographer. I mostly work on weddings. Uh, I do videos for businesses like promo videos. I do other people's YouTube videos. Um, I make vacation videos. So I do a lot of anything that has to do with making videos. <laughs> so Christmas Eve, I sent off my last wedding edit, which was my last edit. So I had no backlog, which is like, it was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I have not had no backlog in so long. So that was, um, that was a nice little Christmas gift to myself. Um, I think, the last time I had no backlog was during the pandemic when I couldn't work anyways. So I was just at home finishing things. Uh, so that's really exciting for me because then I had the rest of Christmas time to just do whatever I wanted and relax and hang out and not have to stress about work. Also, um, some of my work goals have to do with creative stuff and stitching stuff. And one of my goals, for the first half of 2023 is to finish all of the vacation travel films that I have. Uh, I still have some from when we went to Thailand and Bali in 2020 that I have not finished. And I still have 
some from our Italy trip last, sun, last summer and some other smaller trips um, that I want to get done and have up on our YouTube channel, which if you're interested in watching our travel videos, it's at life like Luciano um, on Instagram and uh, on YouTube. So I'll put a link in the description for you guys. But um, so we have all those and I want to finish them and have all of our travels up. We we mostly do them for ourselves because it's just kind of a fun way to remember the trip. It's also, I feel like, helpful. We watch a lot of travel videos when we're planning a trip. So um, we like having that one out there for people to maybe get some insight that's maybe a little different or planning on going to a different place. I hope I can get those done in the beginning of 2023 before we go on our next big trip, which I think is going to be Germany and we will be going there at the beginning of June. So um, that's the goal. Finish all the other vacation films before I start filming more vacation <laughs> films. Another thing or another goal for 2023 that I have when it comes to business and monetization and stuff is that I would absolutely love to start making money off of uh, my YouTube channel as well as uh, my Twitch account. That would just be great if by the end of 2023 I was making some form of money off of either of those platforms. So that's something that you guys can really help me with by watching and sharing and um, finding me on Twitch and the same name, X Stitch and Chill. And I just get on there and stitch and chat with people. Um, it's really fun. I like getting to connect with other stitchers and everything. And I like watching other ones. Um, I am not like Twitch amazing yet. Still trying to figure things out. So hopefully down the line, I can start um, monetizing that as well as my YouTube channel. I also want to start designing some patterns that I can sell. Um, which we'll get to one in a second. So I just like to be making some money so that I can kind of take a step back from weddings. They take up, you know, my whole summer and that's when we can travel now with my daughter um, being in school. So it's just a little bit of a career life pivot, I guess, because <laughs> I do want to be able to travel more, especially in the summer. I want to be able to go away for like a month and live somewhere crazy. My husband works remote, so it's not impossible. Um, but it is something that I have to kind of take a step away from the weddings because that is like a only summer, mostly summer gig um, from like May through October. Hopefully I can make that happen. Hopefully you guys would love to help me make that happen. I would so appreciate it. Speaking of which, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more stitchy updates, then give it a subscribe and you can come back. Hopefully in the new year, I can be a little more consistent because, you know, Christmas and New Year's, <laughs> it's just a life suck. Okay, I'm done babbling on about my life. Um, let's get into some stitchy things. So first I have a finish and it's an exciting finish because it is my own design. I also dyed the fabric for this one. So the last time you guys saw it, I'll put it up here. I have like, I don't think I had done much. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been better about posting updates on there. Um, so you can find me at X Stitch and Chill on there as well. Um, so yeah, this is from one of my favorite Christmas movies. I'm sure once you see it, you're gonna be like, oh yeah. Totally also my favorite Christmas movie, <laughs> but uh, here it is. Hopefully you can see it well enough. I haven't ironed it yet because I kind of like finished it. And I was like, oh, thank God. So <laughs> but it is a um, little Santa throne with the candy canes and the presents and everything. And it says you sit on a throne of lies. And if you know what movie that's from, put it in the comments and you'll win. You, I don't think you'll win anything, but you'll just win. You'll win my uh, respect and admiration. <laughs> but yeah, so I designed this for myself and stitched it up. There was some back stitching on it and um, there was like some Christmas lights. But when I was stitching it, you know, like on paper, it looked like it needed it. But once I stitched it up, I felt like it didn't. 
but I did use metallic DMC on this one for the gold, um, some ornaments and the chair, uh, a couple of the presents. And it was not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, it was terrible. Don't get me wrong. It was a bitch to work with, but it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I just feel like I wasted a lot of the floss because like you fold it and then like the end that you are pulling through or the end that's looped through the, the needle and everything starts to just get really like tangled and messed up and everything. So, um, I feel like I would just like end the thread halfway through. I was only using half of what I had pulled out. So it wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but, um, now I have a gang of gold floss. So <laughs> maybe I'll have to stitch something with it later, but I do really like how it turned out. Like it really makes it pop and it really makes it look special. So, um, I'm not going to complain too much about it because it was well worth it. All right, so since I finished that one, which is what I stitched most of November and December, I also have been working on my Schitt's Creek Landmarks by Stitchy Time Designs. Um, you can also see my new needle minder that I got for Christmas. So this is what it looked like beforehand. Um, I'm still on page one, <laughs> which was this. A little bit of page two, actually. Like this house kind of goes into page two. But um, here is what it looks like now. Yay, so pretty. So I'm still working on Town Hall. Um, this is the end of Town Hall right here though. So I still have like a few more like confetti kind of stitches down here at the bottom. Um, and then I can start filling in the other brick color um, in these holes. And um, this is my new needle minder that I got for Christmas from craft brewery it's always been a hard word for me to say brewery <laughs> but um so this is the piece that i've kind of been focusing on since i finished um my elf stitch i think it's nine pages um so this is still page one so this one will take quite a while it, i think it will end up being um 16 by 11. it's fun to work on <laughs> i enjoy working on this one it's kind of like the one like even when my elf one I was working on it. I was like, uh, if I don't keep stitching on it, it's never going to get done, but I really want to work on my Schitt's Creek one. So, um, this one's fun to work on. I like it. Uh, after I do town hall, I'm going to move over to the next page, which is Bob's garage. Um, and part of the vet clinic, I think. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. Love it. This is the last of my DMC 21 that I have. I just have this little piece. I have another skein, but it's not um, bobbinated or anything yet. So hopefully I don't need it. Um, I can finish up with what I have. So that's like the only one I'm working on. Um, and I haven't started a new one, but I will be starting some new ones very soon. Um, and I'm excited about that. Uh, but they won't start until the new year. Um, so the first one is the magic farming stitch along with flossy Fox shop. Um, Dara at world on a string by Dara has done a lot of her patterns. And I, when I see them, I was like, Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I kind of been eyeing her cozy, witch cabin designs that she has. And they're like little like living room setups and there's cats and super cute. There's a bedroom one too. Um, they're super cute and I love all the colors that she uses and everything. So um, when she had this magic farming stitch along, uh, Dara had bought it and she was like, oh, I'm so excited to do this. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And I kind of looked into it. The nice thing is that it's monthly releases. So the last stitch along I bought, which I haven't even started, <laughs> was like every four nights they were releasing stuff. And that's just like too quick for me, um, obviously. <laughs> and so this one's like monthly and I think there's eight sections. I don't remember, but I am excited to work on it because it's going to be super cute based on her other patterns and similar things. And like, look at these colors. Like these aren't all of them. I still have to pull some out that I already have, but like, ooh, pretty colors. So that starts January 6th. Um, I think you can still join. She might be having a sale until the end of the year too. So, 
um, if you want to find her on Etsy. I'll put some links down below if you want to join in on that one. It's going to be super cute and super fun. Um, and then despite the fact that I had a gift card on Etsy, I was too lazy to go get it and I bought two more patterns um, from, it's like X cross stitch patterns X. I got two new patterns from her. There's been this piece of art I have seen on Instagram ads that's like an astronaut and he's like laying in a bunch of flowers and there's like flowers inside the helmet and stuff like that. Um, so she has one, I'll put it, I'll put it up here. So they have one that I got that's kind of similar to it, the astronaut helmet with the flowers in it. Um, I think eventually we will buy that piece of art. <laughs> Just haven't, you know, gotten around to it. Don't know where to put it at this point. <laughs> um, I also got another one of a astronaut riding a t-rex in space and i think it's just the epitome of art <laughs> it's awesome i'm so excited i think when i stitch it i might give it to my nephew but um i don't know depends on how long it takes me to stitch it and if he still likes dinosaurs by the time it's done uh but it's super cute i'm really excited about doing those too but i probably will not be starting those for a little while because here are my 2023 start goals and things I'm going to be doing um, with that. So I have the Flossy Fox Shop stitch along, the Magic Farming stitch along. And then I have my uh, Sugar School, which I got out to remind you what it looked like, um, which I'm, I'm really close to finishing this one. I just need to finish it. So this is what it looks like right now. And I still have like a little light yellow to do in some of these areas and then the other side, which is just identical to this. Um, so it's almost done and I really like it. It's, it's such a beautiful pattern. I love it. So I really want to finish that so that by Halloween I can like put it up and be like, hey, look at me. Look at me decorating. <laughs> I also bought a pattern from the needle and floss, which is like this really cool PlayStation remote. I'll put, I'll put the picture up there, but I want to start that this year and finish that this year. I'm not really sure what I'll do with it. I've toyed around with the idea of having like, um, a cross stitch, like journal, basically. I know, um, Bendy Stitchy has one and it's like, super fat. Um, but she just like glues the ones in that she's not going to FFO, but she wants to keep them and have them. So she remembers that she did them and everything. Um, and I thought that was a super cute way to keep everything without like just having like cross stitch everywhere. So, um, that might be one that ends up in there, but, uh, yeah. So I've been thinking about doing that, but I am excited to do the PlayStation remote. Um, I might give it to my husband, but I don't know. Another one that I bought from Needle and Floss is her temperature stitch. So she has two temperature stitch. She just released a new one and it's kind of like bars like this. And then um, she has another one that's older that's like squares almost. Um, I'll put it up here what it looks like. But uh, that's going to be my temperature stitch for 2023. And I am kind of excited about that. I love the needle and floss. She is on Twitch. Um, Jess is her name and she is super fun on Twitch. So if you are on Twitch and you're looking for somebody to watch, she's really great. Um, I like watching her streams. Um, but so she had this temperature stitch, which she did for this past year for 2022. Um, and I thought it was really cool. She did it in a diagonal. And then um, somebody else said they did it in like the rows, maybe like this. I don't know. Somebody did it in like rows. She did it on the diagonal. Um, and one of her suggestions is to do it in a circle, um, which no one's done yet. So, um, which was what I was planning in the first place. <laughs> so I am excited. I'm going to do it in like a spiral shape um, going in. So that will be uh, really fun. I'm excited to see how it turns out with all the colors and everything. You know, we've had days recently where it was 50 degrees and then the next day it's negative one. So um, I'm interested to see how, you know, Colorado is a little crazy. So I'm interested to see how it works with that. So another future plan is to continue making my own cross stitch patterns. Um, probably will be around a theme of movie and TV quotes because that's just 
my life. <laughs> my husband and I, like, basically sometimes we speak in movie and TV quotes. I think just, you know, designing them and stitching them and everything with all the other responsibilities that I have is a little tough. So we'll see how it goes. Um, maybe not everything will be model stitched, but I will do my best to get those out. Also in 2023, I want to finish the Schitt's Creek uh, Landmarks stitch, um, which is the biggest one I have right now, uh, started at least. And then I do want to start my Deathly Hollows. It looks like Starry Night, but it's Deathly Hollows from Harry Potter. So I am, up. I keep, I, I never say it, but I do it. <laughs> I'll put it up there. Uh, so I am excited, to, really excited to start that one. That one's going to be really cool. I probably won't wait until I'm done with Schitt's Creek to start Deathly Hollows, but I do want to start it in the near future. I am excited about that stitch and I'm sure I will buy other stitches and stitch things, but those are the main ones that I have right now that I'm planning on for 2023. Okay. I told you this was going to be a long one. I warned you at the beginning because <laughs> it's been so long. I have so many things to talk about. I also could just talk forever. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up and we are going to get on to things I have been watching. So the chill portion of the X stitch and chill. So first of all, I watched a lot of Hallmark movies up in Breckenridge. They were just always on. There's like marathons. My mom really likes to watch them. I got her a um, sweatshirt one year from a local maker. Uh, it's called Your Gal Kiwi. And it says, leave me alone or let me watch my cheesy holiday movies in peace. So she was wearing that sweatshirt while <laughs> watching Hallmark movies. Um, so yeah, I watched a lot of those. They were deliciously terrible and it was amazing. If you're still feeling Christmassy and you are still clinging on to the Christmas spirit, uh, definitely go on Disney Plus and watch the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Um, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy or Marvel in general, it is hilarious. Kevin Bacon's in it. It mostly has Drax and um, Mantis in it. And it's so funny, so funny and really good. <laughs> um, I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. So, you know, maybe that helps. I had low expectations, so it's terrible, but you still watch it. Uh, on Amazon Prime, we finished Peripheral. I felt like I was following along with the series very well, like the science, the fiction, all the stuff. And the last episode though, I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention well enough, but it seemed like it took a big left turn and now I'm super confused as to what is going on, but it's still really good. You just still watch it. Uh, I'm excited for season two, which probably won't come out until like 2024 or something like that. I don't know. but. Uh, Perfo was really great, um, especially if you like Westworld. It's the same people who did Westworld. So if you are missing Westworld and Westworld has been canceled, if you're going to miss Westworld forever, uh, Perfo is really great. My husband and I started uh, Wednesday. We only have two more episodes left as of now. Um, my husband's been working really late this week, so uh, I, we haven't really watched much this week as we normally would when he got off at a regular time. Um, so yeah, we've been watching Wednesday, two more episodes left, loving it. Everybody is really great with their performances and, um, I, I have my suspicions on how it's going to end, but I won't spoil it for anybody, including myself. So no spoilers in the comments, please. Um, but I'm really excited about, um, continuing watching that one. Uh, Bullet Train is on Netflix, which I didn't know it was even coming to Netflix. And that was one of the movies I wanted to go see in theaters. Um, not that I wanted to see it in theaters. It's just a movie I wanted to see. Uh, and that one was really cool. Uh, Brad Pitt, obviously always amazing. And, uh, it's Brad Pitt, right? Hold on. It is Brad Pitt. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Brad Pitt was really great. The girl that's in it is really great. All the actors were really funny. Um, the two, um, uh, brothers, they call themselves the two assassin friends. I love their little relationship. It reminded me of, um, Cha Cha and Hazel from Umbrella Academy. 
it was like the perfect mix of quirky and serious and the action was fun i really enjoyed it kind of reminded me of like a quentin tarantino movie but um good one good one if you have netflix our daughter has been excited for the new avatar movie since like last year so <laughs> she got to watch avatar and she absolutely loved it which is like madness to me like of all the things that she wants to sit and watch that's the one um and she was really excited about the new avatar movie so uh, last week before Christmas, before we went up to Christmas, I think the day it opened, we went <laughs> to the movie theater and we watched it in 3d and it was, it was awesome. I saw the original one in movie theaters in 3d as well. And like, just the way the 3d is, is like, it's very calming. It's very immersive. You feel like, you know, when there's things in the background and things in the foreground, it just feels a little more special, I guess. Um, so we had a lot of fun. We all really liked it. it. It's a long movie. It's like three hours, but, um, we just took like one bathroom break during it and it's going to be on Disney plus one day. So <laughs> I can watch the 10 minutes that I missed then, but definitely worth going seeing in the movie theater. If you don't like 3d, that's fine. Don't go see it in 3d, but I won't, I wouldn't say it's like life changing. Um, I did not plan for the 3D element and I wore my glasses instead of putting my contacts in, which was probably better anyway, because I see better with the glasses and the contacts, but then I had, they give you 3D glasses, right? So I had like glasses on glasses. So I had like one like halfway down my nose. <laughs> and, uh, that was fun. And finally this week I started Emily in Paris because those, um, I think it started December 20th on Netflix. And that's like my favorite little like guilty pleasure show. <laughs> um, it's silly and unrealistic and fun. So I really like that one. Um, you know, and I like seeing all of her outfits and like, how does someone get away with wearing this on a regular basis? But I guess she lives in Paris and she works for like a luxury, um, marketing firm. So I guess you have to look the part, um, but super cute, super fun, silly, funny, romantic, you know, it's just, it's a good guilty pleasure. Okay. I think that's everything. I'm calling it. We're good. If you made it this far, you win. Like you just win. You win my, again, my respect and admiration. <laughs> if you made it this far though, you obviously enjoyed it. So please leave a thumbs up as well as subscribe. If you want to see more stitching updates and chill updates, um, and I promise in the future, they will be a little shorter because this is too long even for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next update video.